Big week last week, another win, but now things change this week. Just from now the standpoint is you need another win to possibly get a share of the championship. What's the mindset of this team going into, into this week's preparation? Oh, well, this week we're just trying to get better for sectional. I mean, sectional draw is Sunday. We saw who we have. Um, we're going to put that away. You know, we're going to focus on this win this week, you know, get, um, get conference. But um, we're, we're ultimately just trying to get better for next week. Have you, uh, and I asked the other players the same thing and the coach, have you kind of thought about the formula that's going into this week where four teams could possibly get a share of that championship? Oh, yeah. I mean, we don't like sharing, you know. I mean, we're, we'd rather share with one team than, you know, four, four other teams. So we, uh, we definitely want to get this win. I think what they ought to do at some point is say, listen, it can't be a four-way tie. It's kind of a tiebreaker. Don't you think something ought to be involved in that? I say we have a little round robin or something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bring everybody together for maybe a Wednesday before the tournament. Get, let's get it going. Yeah, maybe a WWE tournament, you know, a cage match. You guys look tough. You got all the beards in there. That guys are too clean, right? Um, Centerville's got some good beards, too. <laughs> Hey, from, from a senior standpoint, too, and, and again, I know it's it's a bittersweet thing. You're going to play after this, yes, but it's a senior night. Talk about that and trying to stay focused on football, but yet knowing it's a senior night. Um, uh, it's definitely going to be a night to play for, you know, like um, seeing all the other um, seniors in the past um, get emotional and get all their senior letters that we do. I mean, it's definitely going to be a... It's going to be heartfelt. <laughs> how do you feel? I know I asked you a little bit before we started. How do you feel right now physically? Um... We feel good. I mean, we're just trying to get better, as I said. So we just we just want to, um, you know, fix everything that we needed to fix for next week to um, to win sectional. All right, talk about Northeastern, and I keep bringing up what they run offensively. And it was funny in Sports Illustrated today they did a thing about offenses like that and how they're disappearing and such. You might check that out. But the thing is about it, it's an odd offense these days. Everybody wants to spread and throw, and they want to run the football. What is it about that offense that is so hard to defend? Um, you're going to get both. I mean, it, it could be either or. They, they could fake a run and pass it. I mean, you're just going to really have to focus on your person for that game, who you're going to be guarding all game. And you, you, can't be, um, you can't be switching it up, you know, doing your own thing. you got to stick to what Coach Drake's telling us. So – don't go for the football as much, I guess, as, or for the fakes as much as you know where the football is. How do you – I mean, there's a lot of bodies in there. How do you determine all that? Um, I mean, just, just wait until we definitely see a player. I mean, someone's going to make the play. Yeah. Now, if – my question, in just from my perspective, if you wait too long, what is too long? Um, well, with Northeastern, too long could be a touchdown. Yeah. So, we're, we're definitely – I trust my dogs out there uh, making tackles and stuff. So, um, yeah, I just – I think everyone's going to um, play their part, and I think um, I think the the tougher team will win. Yeah. All right, let's talk about their, their their defense too. They get a player back, which they've missed over the last three weeks or so. So defensively, they're better. What do you see on that side of the football that you guys might be able to take advantage of? Um, Coach or Coach Snodgrass has been working his tail off um, the since probably Sunday. Um, so. Uh, which was yesterday, actually. Wow. Um, so, I mean, this fall break, he's going to be in his basement, I'm sure, doing everything um, to get ready for Friday. So I think Coach Snodgrass is always going to have a plan. He always has a plan for something. So I think um, whatever they're doing, we could do something different. Before I let you go, is this kind of a special game or does it make it more special because it's a rivalry? Always has been, always will be, and then there's so much on the line. Does it make things more fun? Um. I of course. I mean, Centerville at Ball State, that was a fun game. I mean, that was two good teams going at it. And I think this will be the same with Northeastern. I mean, two really good teams going at it. So I think you could call it a rivalry maybe. Um, I just I just think the toughest team will win. I said last thing, but do you guys jaw at each other during the game at any point? Or? Um, I don't like jawing at each other, but some words are said in previous times with other teams. Um, I wouldn't say anything personal, anything bad, you know, maybe – Maybe tell someone his butt looks good or something. <laughs>